Hey y'all, let's take a look at what are called like terms in algebra. You'll want to make sure you understand the definition of this. The definition of a like term uh, to another term means it has the same variables with the same exponents. So if you just want to write down your definition, same variables, same exponents on those variables. That's what they are. And we can add those together and make things simpler and make equations and expression, expressions shorter by kind of clumping together these like terms. And you'll see exactly how to do this in this lesson today. Um, what is the difference between 8ABC, 8BAC, and 8ACB? Okay. The answer is, it starts with a nuff and it ends in an ing. That's right, nothing. There is no difference but among these three here. That, that, and that are the same thing. It doesn't matter, matter what order you multiply numbers in or variables in, you get the same thing, right? Eight times two times three is the same thing as eight times three times two, or three times eight times two, and so on. So anytime you see those, you can visualize as those as the same thing, because they'll kind of, they'll try to, you know, trick you up a little bit and go, oh, is this a like term? All you need to do is look and see if it has the same exact variables in it together with the same exponents, all right? By the way, you don't see any exponents on this A, any of these A's or B's or C's, which tells you each time the exponent is one. We just don't bother to write them if there's an exponent there. Okay, examples of like terms, you could say, I don't know, 2x and then there's a negative 7x. Those are like terms. You could say you know, um, 4xy and then you could say negative 13. Uh, how about yx, right? Those are like terms. doesn't matter what order you put those in, as long as you have the same ones. You could say 8 you know, I don't know, uh, H, S, P, and then you could have a 21, uh, P, H, S. Same thing. Those are like terms. All those variables are the same. You can just clump them together, and we'll do that in just a second, all right? Let's just do something to kind of visualize this. If somebody tells you, oh, you have a pile of fruit, all right, you have six apples, then you have four apples, and you have negative three apples. All right. In other words, you have six apples, you have four apples, but you subtract three apples. Obviously, you have 10 minus three or seven apples, right? All those are the same things, so you can put those together, right? So you can say, I have seven apples. Let's say you have nine rabid howler, mon howler monkeys and five rabid howler monkeys, but then you take away with a shotgun, or with a, uh, we relocate the 11 of the rabid howler monkeys. How many rabbit howler monkeys do you have left? Well, you had nine and five, that was 14. And then you subtract 11 when you, shot, when you relocated them to a safe, beautiful new place to live. And then you would have three, I'm just call them rabbit howler monkeys. Okay, so you can, you can, those are all the same things. So you can count how many you have when you sh uh, relocate a couple of them out of the way. All right, well, look at this one. This is what we're gonna be doing right here. Look at that. You got five X. You got negative 3x, or if you want to say 5x minus 3x, that's fine, same thing. Then you have plus 7x. Well, those are all like terms. You can get a final number, how many you have, just like you could with these monkeys and the apples. If you have five of something, and you subtract three of the some, same something, you're gonna have two of something, right? Then if you have two of something, you add seven of the same thing, you're gonna have nine of the same thing. So you can just say, I have 9x, that's it. That's how you add like terms. That's all there is to it. All right, here's another one. 12ABC minus 8ABC plus 3ABC. Well, you tell me what the answer is. Okay, that's going to be 4ABC, right? Plus 3ABC will be 7ABC. There you go. Now, again, don't forget, if these were all in a different order, B and A and C and then C, A, B. Who cares? It's all multiplied together. It's the same thing. You'd still have 7 A, B, C. Or you could say 7 B, C, A or A, C, B or whatever you wanted to call it. All right? Here's a slightly different one. Look at this one. You have eight apples and you subtract six bananas and you have two apples more and you add 10 bananas. Well, you're not going to go just left to right and go, okay, I have eight minus six is two. Two plus two is four. Four plus, I have, I have 14 apple-annas, apple-annas, I mean, what in the heck is that? That sounds like one of those, like, fakey fruit things that, you know, homeschoolers eat in their lunches. It's 
100% organic with no gluten or you know filler or rabbit howler monkey parts anything of that you can't do that right you can't go oh i have 14 apple bananas but apples or whatever you're going to have to cut this up into chunks right you got to go the apples go with the apples the bananas go with the bananas right so you're going to have to say i have eight apples plus two apples well that's going to be 10 apples then you know i have negative six bananas and i have positive 10 bananas well, that means i have four bananas right I kind of went overboard there. Anyway, you know what I mean. You can't go, oh, I have 14 banana pop pop apples or whatever. That, that's it. This is all you can do. You don't go up to somebody and say, you know, you know uh, go to the grocery store and say, I'll have these 14 banana apples or whatever. Uh, manager to the front, please. We have a code four, which is a homeschool kook trying to smash together apples and bananas. Ain't going to work. Okay, this is all you can have right here. That's as far as you can go. Don't try to do anything else. Okay, all right. If you have, Another example, two hot dogs and four pickles. Then you subtract seven hot dogs. We won't ask how. Anyway, uh, negative three pickles. Well, you know, you can't mash together hot dogs and pickles and call it some new thing. You've got two hot dogs. You got minus seven hot dogs. That means you have two minus seven or negative five hot dogs. I'll just call them hot dogs like that. All right, you have four pickles. You have minus three pickles. That means you have one pickle. There's that's nothing else you can do. You can't say, oh, negative five plus one is negative four. I mean, negative four what? You know, pickle dogs, hockles. What do you call that? That's it. Don't try to do anything else other than this. Okay. Now, if you can figure out apples and bananas and hot dogs and pickles like this, then you can easily figure out this expression right here that has four terms in it. Right? Number of terms. Okay. So copy this down. Pause if you need to. All right, well, let's only add the things together that are the same, that are like terms, right? This is an X. Look, there is another X, and there's nothing else you can do with the X's, right? So 12X minus 9X is 3X, and you're done with that part. Now you have a negative 4Y, and you have a positive 10Y. Well, you know how to add those, right? Negative 4 plus 10 is 6, so you have 6Y, and you stop. That's all you do. You can't say, oh, I have 9XY. No, you don't. You don't have 9xy, just like you don't have, you know, negative four hot pickles or pickle dogs or whatever, or banana apples. You can't do that. This is as far as you go. Stop right there to the next problem. That's all you can do. All right. Copy. Go ahead and pause and copy this too. All right. This is a little longer. Who cares? Just start at the very left and look at this term. Okay. It has an A and a C in it. Well, do you see any other terms with an A and a C in it? Yeah, right there. Look, there's a positive 14 AC. Well, if you have negative 6 of something and positive 14 of something, that means you have 8 of that something. 8 AC and, okay, gone. All right, there's a positive 10 X. Do you have any other terms that are X's? Yes, there's one right there. You have 10 of an X and minus 12 of an X means you have 10 minus 12 or negative 2 X. Done and done. And now we have a, you know, a five and we have a negative eight. We'll just, you know, smash those together. Five minus eight is negative three. There you go. Now that's as far as you can go. Don't try to mash these all together. They're not like terms. This is an A and a C. That's an X. And there's no variable on that one. So don't try to put them together and go, oh, look, that's a, a three of A, C, X. Don't. Just stop right there. That's all you can do. That's adding like terms. All right. So let's do this one. Pause and copy. <coughs> All right, well, I always, I always start at the left, and that makes it easier. I just, okay, what's my first term? It's an A. Do I have any other A's? Oh, there's one right there. All right, so 7A minus 3A, that is 4A. Done and done. You don't have to do that, but I just kind of do it sometimes to help myself stay where I am. Positive 13, I mean, there's nothing else I can add this to, so just plus 13, done. All right, I have a negative 5BA and a positive 8 AB, which is the same thing as BA. So we have 8 of something minus 5 of something. That gives us 3 of something. You can call it BA or AB, whatever you want. And we're done. You can't add this and this because they're not like terms. This has a B and an A in it. That has just an A. 
not my terms. Don't try to do anything else. We're done. All right. Pause and copy. Okie doke. Well, just start at the left. Do I have any of the terms that have an A and an X in them? There's an AX. Oop, there's one right there, right? X and A. That's all we care about. All right. I have two, negative 2 of something and negative 8 of something. That means I have negative 10 of something. I'll just call it XA. Even, even though you could write AX if you want to. It doesn't matter. Is this a like term with this then? I have 7 ACB and then look, ACB. Yep, it's a like term. I have 7 of something, negative 6 of something. That means I have 1 of something. You don't have to write the 1 if you don't want to. You can just write ACB or BCA or BAC or CAB and so on. doesn't matter. Don't try to do anything else. Yeah, this has an A in it and that has an A in it. Who cares? That's as far as you can go. All right, let's try another one. Pause and copy. Let's look at five first. Five is a constant, so is this, and so is this. Well, we can get five minus 14. Immediately you go 14 minus five is nine. That'll be negative nine. Then negative nine minus 10, since those are the same sign, you go that's negative 19. And you're done with this, this, and that. Let's go, oops, I forgot about the six, for heaven's sakes. Okay, well, six plus negative 19 would be negative 13. Okay, my bad. There we go. All right, is this a like term with this? Sure it is. They, all, they both have a G, they both have an R, they both have an, have an N. We got it. So negative 13 of that plus 3 of that gives us negative 10 of that. And you can write this any way you want in, in any order, the N, the R, and the G, and you're good. And there you go. Don't try to put those together and say that's negative 23. No, it's not. That, that doesn't have an N, R, and G in it. That won't go with that, so you can't put them together. Okay. Just think about you know not getting thrown out of the grocery store by smashing apples together. This is longer. Pause and copy. All right. Well, I'm just going to go left to right. It's just easier to go that way. Look, that's a 3Z. That's a Z. There's a Z. Well, let's get those all together. 3Z minus Z is 2Z, right? 2Z minus 5Z is negative 3 and a Z. And we're done with that. We're done with that. And we're done with that. So let's go for Ds next. I got a D there. There's a D. There is a D. What my report card in sixth grade. Okay, so I got one. You know, if you want to put a one there, you can. Negative one of something minus nine of something is negative 10 of something. Negative 10 of something minus another negative minus another 10 of something is minus 20 of that something. And that's all we can do with the D's. D, D, and D. I'm getting a horrible flashback to when I was 11 years old for some reason. I don't know. Okay. I got an 8 and I have a minus 11. Well, you know how to do that. 8 minus 11 is negative 3. That is all she wrote. That You stop right there. Don't do anything else. Those are not like terms. It's a Z and a D and no variable. That's all we do right there, okay? And pause and copy. Why don't you try this yourself? Go ahead and unpause when you're finished breaking this down and adding the like terms. All right, I'm assuming you've stopped. I got a negative nine, I got a negative seven. I got a 12, okay? So negative nine minus seven is negative 16. Negative 16 plus 12, different signs, subtract, you get four, but Negative 16 is farther away from positive 12 uh, absolute value, so you take the negative, which means we're done with that, we're done with that, and we're done with that. CDA, is there another like term? Yep, there it is. C, D, and A. There's one of that one. If it's not written there, it's a one. And there's a 11 more, and that gives you 12. We'll call it CDA, although it doesn't matter, again, what order you put those variables in. This is just a negative x there and negative 4x there. Well, that's a negative 1 if there's nothing written there. So a negative 1 minus 4 is negative 5x, and we are done. There you go. That's all. That's all you do. Okay. Go ahead and try it. Do A and B, and then pause it when you're finished with uh, each one of those. And we'll come back in a second. All right. Well, let's do A first. This is an xy, and ooh, there's another xy, and that's all we've got. So negative 2 of something minus 4 of something gives us negative 6 of that something, whatever it is. Done. Done. I got a 3x minus a 2x. That gives me a 1x. And then nothing else goes with 4, so you just, ooh, there you go. There. 
That's it. That's all you can do. All right, let's try B. Uh, is there a like term here? Well, X, Y, Z. There's an X, Y, Z, right? It's in a different order, but who cares? Two of something minus five of something gives you negative three of that something. This is gone. This is gone. Well, and all we have left is a three X, Y. Well, that doesn't go with these other two. Don't try to put it with it because it doesn't have a Z. We can't add those together. That's like trying to add apples and oranges. All right. Or if you're a homeschooler, regular milk and goat milk. That's all you need to do for B. That's it. Okay. So go ahead and pause it and try C and D and unpause when you are finished. All right. Well, let's Y, A, C, and there's a Y, A, and a C. So there, I got three of that. I got six of that. That gives me nine Y, A, C. And of course, you could have written that in any order you wanted. And this is just hanging off the end. We're done. Okay, there you go. That's all you can do. Don't try to say, oh, this is going to be nine minus two, seven Y, A, C, or seven. Uh, don't, no, that's, they're not like terms. You cannot add them together. D. We start with a four and there's nothing else to add to four. So just bring it down. Done. There is an X. There is an X. If I have negative one X plus three X, that gives me two X. Done. If I have negative two X Y and I have negative seven X Y, whatever, that means I have a total of negative nine X Y or Y X, whatever you want to call it. And again, that, that's it. There's nothing else you can do. You have three terms in that expression. All she wrote right there. Okay, all right. We'll do your problem set, and uh, there'll be several of these problems in there, so check your answers carefully, and uh, take a little extra time if you need to to get those right, and uh, you'll be well on the way to solving problems and equations and all that kind of stuff later on. So y'all take care. Have a great day. See you next time.